All right, we're gonna begin this installation with the previously installed on the tailgate using the supplied nylon inserts. Step-by-step -step instructions are included. There's also videos on YouTube showing you exactly how to install these, so we won't be going over that today. So basically, we're gonna be using our nylon inserts to position the tray in the proper location and drill out our holes for our rivet nuts. Now with the screw loosely installed in each corner, there's gonna be some play. You wanna push the tray all the way to the left so that the top right corner clears that little raised area right above the top right corner before tightening down your four screws. You want to make sure that the tray is sitting flush up against the back of the tailgate before tightening down the four screws. We didn't install all the nylon inserts, just enough to hold the tray into position while we drill out seven pilot holes using a 1 8 drill bit. So these are the threaded rib nuts that I decided to go with. They're 632s. The doc recommends using M4 4mm rib nuts for this insulation. A4 helicopters including my video. Good boy. And this is the threaded insert riveter kit that I got from Harbor Freight. It's about $21. It's also a tool that you could make yourself at home so you don't have to buy the gun. I'm not going to go into how to do it. You can look it up on YouTube. There's plenty of videos. Now with all seven pilot holes drilled, we can go ahead and remove the tray by backing out the four screws. And at this point, we're going to be using a 1764 drill bit. And this is the proper drill bit for the 632 so there's two reasons why I decided to go with 632 rib nuts over the recommended M4. One was the availability in my local hardware store, and second was this rib nut gun right here from Harbor Freight. It doesn't come with an adapter for the M4 rib nuts, but it does have one for the 632. So it's pretty self-explanatory. You choose the proper adapter that you want to use, in this case 632, you screw the rib nut on, you insert it into the hole, make sure that your handle is parallel to the tailgate, you squeeze it just like a regular rivet gun, it's going to squish that rib nut into the hole, and you back out using the knob. It's important that you keep it level while you do this, otherwise your thread venture is going to end up being enchanted. And I broke my drill bit. If the insert's canted, you're not going to be able to line up the holes on your tray. Now I recommend getting some gasket maker from your local auto parts store. This way you never have to worry about those holes that you drilled in your expensive Jeep. Now at this point we're going to continue drilling the remaining pilot holes. So after all seven holes are drilled, we're going to go ahead and apply this gasket maker to the base of the rift nut. A little bit goes a long way, but you want to make sure that you use enough to get a proper seal. And any excess that pushes out the sides will wipe right off. So again, this thing is pretty straightforward, easy to use. You want to repeat these steps until all seven rib nuts are installed.
right, so we're just going to go around and wipe off any excess gasket maker that was at the sides. And at this point, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and remove the remaining nylon inserts. Now, I previously had the tray installed just using the inserts, so I have a lot more to take out. Now, with no wires in the way to get pinched, you're going to have your helper hold up the tray while you install the center screw. My helper doesn't have thumbs, so I had to do it myself. Now you can go ahead and install the remaining screws. Now don't send them home yet. Once you have all seven installed, go ahead and tighten them down. Now to send them home, I'm using a uh, Phillips head screwdriver. You don't want to send them home with the uh, screw gun or the drill gun because you could end up stripping it out. So it just has to be nice and snug. Check the power cord lines. At this point, we're going to go ahead and adjust the locking latch. You can either loosen it or tighten it. A nice positive lock. And then once you get the latch to exactly where you want it set, go ahead and install lock washer, a five millimeter nut. And I'm using a quarter inch deep socket to tighten it. I found throughout the summer that when the tray was in the down position, the latches tended to kind of walk out or I found myself always adjusting them. So this problem could easily be fixed with lock washer and a five millimeter nut. Check it one last time. Everything looks good. That's it. Easy breezy. It's definitely a solid setup. Even with the nylon inserts having it installed, it's rated for 40 pounds. But I've put up to 80 pound weights on it and it's still held up. This isn't going anywhere. And this concludes our install. As long as you use the supplied nylon inserts and the factory slots and the tailgate to line up the tray, use it as a template, it's pretty straightforward. This is definitely the coolest, most useful accessory that I have for this Jeep. I've used it daily since I've installed it beginning of the summer. Plus all my gear is Molly compatible, so this keeps the things that I use most often easily accessible. We are definitely looking forward to many years of adventures with this. If you guys have any questions or run into any problems, reach out to Doc at Springtail Solutions. Thanks for watching.